hey, this is George Mazzell, Super Magnet Man, back with a little bit of magnet information. One of the questions I get asked all the time from people, and I mean I'll get emails every week on this, people are asking, can you use these magnets to erase videotapes or cassette tapes of other kinds? And a lot of people ask, on a, uh, probably not as often, but I do get a lot of requests on erasing digital tapes. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a lesson in how this works and how these super magnets can do this, because we've erased everything that uh, we've been asked to, to erase. So I'll start with the mini DVs, which seem to be the most popular thing people ask about. If you take the, uh, the mini DV tape and take a look at it, it is a very small, very thin tape. So we don't need a very large magnet. The one that seems to work very well with this in most applications is my one inch diameter by three quarters of an inch thick N50. Okay, when we put the gauss meter on this one, we'll see that the surface of this magnet is around, reads around 5100 gauss. Now, the key is not just what it reads on the surface, but the key to this working is what does it measure through the tape. So when we put this on the other side of a tape that we want to erase, we're measuring about 1200 gauss. Now, generally, it takes over 2,000 gauss to erase the tape. So if you just do one type pass, you're probably not going to erase your tape. However, with a, this is for, usually for home or for small office where people just want to erase the tapes every now and then. The, the way that I recommend it is if you use this one, you can just swirl it around the tape, go to the other side, swirl it around. I usually erase it right across the face, make sure it's getting all the tape at the edges, flip it to the other side, and erase again. Really doesn't matter which pattern you use, just erasing like this usually will erase it. Now if you look at what this the Gauss reading is about halfway through the tape, if we look at this, it is measuring about halfway, it will measure 3300 Gauss. Okay, so if we're getting 3300 Gauss to the middle and we come from both directions, this should blow these away and that's all there is to it is you just simply take the tape and swirl and you're done. All it takes is just a few swirls, eight or ten seconds, and you should be done. Now, when it comes to erasing videotapes, the VHS tapes, you think, well, this magnet works great with that. Maybe it'll work here. Well, if you take these tapes and put it on the other side of it and measure the Gauss reading, you're measuring somewhere around 340 Gauss definitely not in the same league as the other one. If you look at the halfway measurement, halfway through the tape, we are still measuring around a thousand. Now that may be enough to erase most of the tape. And if you took the tape and really swirled it around and felt like you covered every bit of it, remember any part of it that's not covered with sufficient gauss level to erase it is going to stay the way it was. And so we erase this around and you can swirl it around really work this thing over, flip it over, and do the same thing. You might be erasing the tape, but you don't have 100% confidence until you erase it. What we recommend for the larger thick tapes like this is probably going to be the two inch square by one inch thick. Now when I put this up against the tape, you can even hear how loud it slams into it with the power it's got. Measuring this one through the tape, I'm still at 1200 gauss going through the tape. When I get to moving this out into the open at a half inch, I mean halfway through the tape, approximately halfway through the tape, I'm measuring about 2,500 gauss. Should be more than enough to blow a VHS tape away. But you're using a magnet like this, you cover a lot of area a lot faster. You have a lot of higher confidence that smoothing this one back and forth will do a great job. To give you an idea how this works, I had one customer who needed to erase thousands of these tapes at one time. And so I designed a system actually using two inch diameter by one inch thick N50 disc and we mounted four of them opposing each other. I, I designed the, the right pattern and everything to make it act like it was swirling and he was able to, we set it up sort of like a book stand, I mean a couple of bookends and the, just exactly the width of the tape and as fast as he could slide the tapes through there, they were gone. Looked like virgin tape. We tested it several times. I, I had the equipment from him on loan and I was able to put the tapes through. I would record on them for in uh, compressed mode in the eight hour mode 
record for eight hours, erase, record, erase. I did it about 10 times and still visibly to my eyes, I mean, I don't have electronic equipment to test it with and to, to tell from that, but from visually looking at it on the TV screen, it looked like it was just as good as it was when it started in terms of quality, color, dropouts and things like this. So it turned out that I think that set of magnets did a fantastic job on erasing this kind of tape. Then we come to the last kind, the computer tapes. Those computer DLT tapes have extremely high resistance to demagnetization. So I reach up and I get my extremely powerful two inch pyramid with a two inch square, one inch thick N50 base on it. Uh, this magnet on the surface is measuring 6,400 gauss, 6,500 gauss, and when I put it through the thickness of a tape, uh, about what would be a DLT tape, uh, or one of the AIT tapes, it's measuring still 3,000 gauss. I looked up the specs, and those things are supposed to erase somewhere in the 4,500 gauss range. Well, halfway through with this pyramid magnet, if I looked at halfway through the tape, I am still measuring 47, 4,800 gauss halfway through. Well, right at about 5,000, 5,200. So this, I've had several customers who have bought this for the purpose of erasing DLT tapes, and I tell them all, if it doesn't work, send it back, and I haven't had anyone even comment back. Several of them have commented back that it just absolutely worked perfectly. Uh, they run this, run the tape across this one time, and it's like a virgin tape as far as their computer is concerned. So if you want to erase some videotape or AIT tapes or DLT tapes, just let me know which one you want to go with, and we can go with this. Now, that brings up the next thing. What do you do with a monster like this when you're not using it? Well, you saw me reach up and pull it off the ceiling. In my case with a suspended ceiling, this is the best place to store them. Just store it up there. It's out of the way, and nothing is going to generally get in that area that shouldn't be there. And when I need it, I reach up and pull it down. When I don't need it, I put it up, and it's out of the way. The same with the little tapes, the little magnets. If I have this magnet, I just simply store it on the ceiling. Need it, pull it down. The big magnet, the two by two by one, same thing. I turn it sideways so that it's a little easier to get off, and then it just sticks very well to the ceiling. And when I get ready to do it, pull it off, I just twist and pull it down, and it's ready to go. So that gives you a little idea on how to store these and how to keep them away from other things that you don't want to erase. Hope this helps you out. Look forward to seeing you again. This is George Mazel, Super Magnet Man. Thanks.